Last week, our very own pirate-turned-space cowboy, Ed Spilliers, celebrated a birthday. I'm sure he had a great one as his new role has taken off and it seems more success is sure to come. I also came across an update for the script auction of Maria Kennedy Doyle's. Unsurprisingly, it was a rousing success, with those Outlander scripts going for tidy sums of £2,812 and £3,437. Sadly, I'm not the new owner, but congratulations to those who won. Hi and welcome back to Katie's Corner in Space and a Week 49 bonus video, also known as, oops, I forgot I bookmarked those stories. And so you benefit from my brain fuzz and we get a few more tidbits about some of our favorite people. And well, I've got a fun recipe to share by Tash the Stashinac for all of those leftover chocolate eggs from Easter because we're pretending we didn't scarf them all down as soon as the kids left the room. This looks like a rather interesting concoction with two simple ingredients. A dram of whiskey poured neatly into one emptied chocolate egg. Then simply enjoy the dram and follow your drink with the empty vessel. Of course, it is recommended one uses Sam Hewn's Sassanac whiskey. This little belated Easter treat is aptly named Sassanac Kisses. If you give it a try, let us know what you think in the comments below. But Tash, who again I recommend following on Twitter, also started a rather inventive Sam as Easter egg thread, and it was all one could hope for and more. Just take a look at some of these comparisons. I'm partial to the Harry Potter one and the clown. Supernova Legacy Scholarship is running an auction now as well to win a box of assorted collectibles from Outlander Fan Documentary. This auction will continue through the 23rd of this month and includes all items pictured. Now I could give you more information, but I think you might prefer this. Hi there. Well, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone that has supported the Supernova legacy. Um, everyone that's contributed, it really is something very special to me. Um, the RCS is a very, very special place where uh, it all started. And um, what you guys are doing is not only supporting new talent, but you're helping support them through you know, the, the early informative years, which were really difficult um, for a lot of young students, especially right now with um, the pandemic. And um, yeah, it's just a great support. So thank you all. It, for me, was one of the hardest times. Um, I'm just here in my house and I've been going through some old scripts and books that supported me. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I have, I mean, some really important books for me. And I just wanted to share these because I thought they were great. Playing Shakespeare, uh, looking at Patsy Rodenberg, voice in the actor, Tom Courtney, Laurence Olivier, Arthur Miller, True and False by Mamet. These were all books that I read. Um, I had a great library at the RCS. And I just realized that like that beginning has like taken me, you know, on a great journey around the world. I have all these experiences I want to show you my bookcase. It's taken me around the world. It's I've had all these amazing um, people I've met, uh, adventures, stories I've got to tell. So what you guys are doing is giving these students the opportunity to tell other stories and new stories. So thank you once again. I, I'm I'm sort of going down memory lane here, looking at all the the great opportunities I've had, and I'm just excited for the students 
Tulsa now have their own opportunity. Um, cheers. I shall raise a dram to you all uh, on my birthday and um, much love. Take care of yourselves. Thanks, Sam. So bid now for your chance to win, and if you like, you can also simply donate to the cause. A bit of convention news, or at least an event involving an Outlander panel. The ATX TV Festival is coming up in June, June 1st to the 4th, to Austin, Texas to be exact, and I'm working on the possibility of going. The biggest hurdle is simply financial. I do appreciate all of the support from each of you, rather in returning to view new content, right up to the members of Katie's Corner community. It does add up. However, as I'm a small channel, the adding goes a bit slowly. But fear not, though I'm unsure it will have any success, I've submitted my name, or namely this channel, to be admitted as press to the event. I'm hoping this may include some cut to cost, rather entry or food or accommodations. If so, then the probability of going, of course, increases. If not, well, even a failed attempt teaches, so hopefully I'll get an idea of what I may further need to do to qualify, if it's possible. Of course, if I do manage to obtain access, well, I submitted myself as wanting interviews, so let's all cross our fingers and toes and with any luck, in time, I'll be asking community members to submit questions to actors appearing. Do some thinking just in case and remember to join below if you haven't already to get any convention perks as I figure this whole thing out. And if you'd like to enjoy some more Droughtlander content, check out one of these videos and we'll see you there.